I'm Judy Beck. I'm the president of the Beck Institute for Cognitive Behavior Therapy, and I'm also a clinical associate professor of psychology in the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Pennsylvania. And I'm very happy today to have our co-presenter, Deborah Beck Buses, a social worker who is our diet program coordinator. So um, many of you in the field, or who, who I should say, many of you who are not in the cognitive behavior therapy field. Um, may have heard of the name of Aaron Beck, but not know our relationship. Aaron Beck was, is my father, and he was really the founder of cognitive therapy back in the uh, 1960s. He's now 90 years old. He just had his first day in July, and he's still working 24-7. But he doesn't do weight loss. He is, at the moment, heavily involved in working with um, therapists who are treating patients who have schizophrenia, who are homeless, um, who have really major psychiatric disorders, and uh, he's left it to both me and my daughter, Deborah Beck Buses, to um, carry on with some of the diet stuff. The um, diet program is, is a small part of what we do here at the Beck Institute. Mostly we're a, a national and international training center in cognitive therapy, and we do have a small clinic in which we see um, psychiatric patients, and Debbie herself sees a number of dieters here as well. Okay, so today the workshop is a cognitive behavioral approach to weight loss and maintenance, and we, uh, Debbie and I, hope to make this very interactive with you, so we hope that you have lots of questions, and we also hope that you'll be willing to do lots of role playing. So if you do role playing, we are going to assume that you are not role playing yourself. We are going to assume that you are role playing a friend of yours, or a dieter you work with, or whoever. So, and we will just, if you're a female, we're going to call you Mary. And if you're a male, we're going to call you Joe. So it's going to be very easy that way we can maintain patient confidentiality and no one has to feel as if he or she is exposing herself or himself. Um, okay, so today, this morning, we're going to be talking about um, some of the elements of a program that Debbie helped me develop that was then made into a book called The Beck Diet Solution. And we'll talk about why a cognitive behavioral approach, cognitive just means thinking, and why it is that we believe that people have been notoriously, had a notorious challenges, I should say, either in losing weight or keeping it off because they just haven't learned the skills that they need. And we'll be talking a lot about the cognitive model, how our thinking influences our decisions to eat or not to eat. And so and we'll, talk, we'll talk about what the research shows us and how it is that we use that research to help develop the plan. And then after lunch, we'll be talking about the plan specifically. We'll talk about how to introduce it to dieters. We'll talk about how to motivate dieters. We'll talk about the problems that dieters have in getting themselves to use good eating habits. Um, we'll talk about a number of skills before we actually do very much talk about food. In fact, we're not going to talk about food very much at all today. We will a little bit, but um, not very much at all. Um, we're mostly going to be talking about the psychological tools that people need to either stay on a diet or to stay on maintenance. And one of the things you'll find out is that we consider diet and maintenance to be exactly the same thing. Whatever changes you make to lose weight are exactly the same changes you need to continue throughout your life to maintain your weight loss. So um, all of the, uh, the things we're going to be talking about today are... are from one of these three books, or the two books, and then and the middle one is a workbook. A lot of people ask whether they're allowed to use material from the books if they start their own groups or start working with dieters. The answer is yes. If you email us with what you'd like, we'll send you the protocol for how to request permission, and um, chances are excellent that we'll grant you permission to do that. 